Hi, I'm Jake, and I will be showing you NetProfiler with the Xact2. Once on this screen, we will launch NetProfiler online, where you will log in with your MyXRite credentials. If you do not have one, you can register for one here. Once logged in, you'll land on the main menu. You'll need to click the Create New button to start the profile creation process. Next, you'll need to download a Turin Next if you do not already have it installed. Once launched, it runs in the background and allows the device to talk to NetProfiler online. If you already have a Turin Next downloaded on your computer, you can click the Reconnect button, which will launch a Turin Next. Once launched, this will then connect any devices that are connected to the computer. From there, you can select any device that you would like to profile. Now that the device is selected, enter the serial number for the standard that you would like to use. The serial number can be found here and here. This page will then tell you how many uses are remaining on a standard, when that standard will expire. Next, make sure that the standard is clean. Do not wipe the standard, but blow it off with any air if needed. One thing to note, NetProfiler does disable the profile that is active on the device if there is one. So if you disconnect from the internet or quit the process at any point, make sure that you re-enable the profile that is on the device before continuing in production. Now we'll start by calibrating the device. So in the software, you will click calibrate. This will force the device to start calibrating. Once successful, you can then move on to measuring the standards. Now when measuring standards, make sure that the orientation of the device matches what's indicated on the card. We'll measure the white and the black. Here the order of measuring the colors does not matter. If a measurement that you take is outside of the tolerance, that measurement will fail, and a prompt will come up on screen giving you tips on how to improve that measurement. Here I'm showing you what a failed measurement will look like on screen. You'll be prompted with tips on how to improve the measurement. Now what we'll do is move on to the next step. From there you'll need to recalibrate the device. Next we'll place the device on the repeatability plaque. From there you'll click the measurement button once. Do not move the device until it is done. Now move the device to the black tile and repeat the process. Okay, now that that is completed, we can go ahead to the next step where we'll calibrate the device again. Now we'll measure the color standards to generate the profile. First, we need to enter the temperature that is indicated on the thermometer in the folder, located here. For more details, you can see the information in the software. Next, we'll calibrate the device. Next, we'll measure the color standards one more time. We will use this to validate that the profile that was generated is the best to be applied to the device.
Now you're done. You've created a profile for your device. If successful, you'll see a green check mark on this page. If there was any failure in the profiling process, there will be a red X on this page with the reasons of failure indicated below. On the left side of the screen, you will be able to see the measurement data for each measurement condition, also for unprofiled measurements versus profiled measurements. From there, you can view the report. This will be similar data to what you saw on the previous summary page. Now that you've completed the profiling process, you can go to the Profile Certificates page. From here, you will be able to open the most recent profile certificate that you just completed in the profiling process. Thanks for watching. That was a quick look at NetProfiler Online with the Exact 2.